Hey everybody, listen up. The last two weeks, we talked about preparing to hear God's voice and hearing God's voice. But my question now is, what do you do after those two things? I believe you obey God's voice. See, this story reminds me of the time when I was in eighth grade and I had, I had been do, doing terrible in history class, me and all of my friends. So what happened was my teacher decided to talk to all of us and say, hey, listen guys, you guys need to come after school and work with me in order to get a better grade in class. I promise you after that conversation, we did not listen. Instead, we went to the playground, played basketball, and our favorite spot went to Dunkin' Donuts. See, after a couple of days of that though, my teacher spoke to me directly and said, hey Fran, you, out of all your friends and all your classmates, you need to come after school the most because you haven't passed a single test. And I, 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 I had to obey, I had to listen, I had to obey my teacher. And so what happened was for the last couple of weeks until the end of the term, I came after school with her and I studied with her and she helped me through all of the problems I had in history class. At the end of the semester, the end of the term, I had an A plus while all of my friends, all of my friends failed. This story reminds me of the story of Noah. See, Noah did not just prepare to hear from God, did not just hear from God, but he obeyed God. See, obeying God puts you above everyone else. God's instruction and his wisdom is the best thing you could actually follow. So my challenge to you is to obey God this week. Not just prepare to hear him, not just hear him, but obey him. Because when you do, I promise you, you begin to be a little bit elevated or a lot more elevated than everyone else around you. So here, take that challenge, hear me out, prepare to hear God, hear God, and obey God.